everybody welcome to fun food friday now this time of year a lot of popular things are scones hot cross buns and zeppelins now if you don't know what zeppelins are they're an italian pastry and filled with custard and they put a cherry on top so good you can get them fried or baked my daughter i'm going to leave her a channel in the description box below Go check her out. That girl can cook. Yes, and she makes her own zeppelins. Uh, but today I'm going to be making uh, scones. And they're called lemonade scones. And the last time I made lemonade scones was I was 14 years old. Yeah. And this was one of the first recipes that we had to learn in home economics. <laughs> yes, and they came out done good. They did. Uh, so I'm going to get right into it now. Now, what they're asking for is three and a half, three and a half cups of, um, let's see, I have it written down here. Three and a half cups of self-rising flour. Now, I don't have self-rising flour, so I'm going to put three and a half cups of regular flour. And make sure you got the dry measure. This is liquid measure. When you see a spout on it, that's to measure your liquids. This is to measure dry. So we want three and a half cups. And I actually have a scoop in here. And I'm just going to scoop it in here. Don't pat it. You know, don't pat it down. You just want it loosely. Well, I was doing better when I didn't have the scoop. And then just shave it off the top. I need a little bit more over here. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. So I'm going to say that's one. And then let me try it this way. Yeah, this is much better. I'm just scooping it in there. That's too much. So two. And that's three and a half. Now they want a half a cup. I do have a half a cup measure here, I hope. Flour everywhere. I should have my um, apron on. <laughs> I'm going to be full of flour. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Makes it more fun. Right? Doesn't that kind of? All right. So there's a half. So I have three and a half of flour. Now that's all I need of this flour. Now this is regular all-purpose flour. And let me put it down here. Okay, now to make it like a self-rising flour, they want you to add, now for every cup of flour, you add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So, Seeing how we have three and a half, they want one and a half, and this is my teaspoon measure, so that's for one cup, two cup, three cup, and this is a half, right, three and a half. A teaspoon and a half for every cup of flour. So one, two, three. I think I got it. I think. Or am I wrong? Let's see. One and a half teaspoons. One and a half, one and a half, one and a half. Oh, we need another another teaspoon. There. And like three quarters. There. Something like that. I think it was like four and three quarters or something. I don't know. Anyway, and the next thing that they want you to add is a quarter teaspoon of salt for every uh, cup of flour. Which, let me get the salt. And they want a quarter teaspoon. So a quarter teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon, that's a half. 
right? Okay, let's see. Uh, let me see, a quarter teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon is one half. Okay, so we'll put a half. And another half and then a bump. I know you're supposed to be accurate on it, but if you do the measurements, it all adds up. Yeah. So anyway, so this was three and a half cups of flour, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder for every cup of flour, and also one quarter teaspoon of salt for every cup of flour. All right, and they say just mix it all together. You didn't have, you don't have to sift it or anything. Just make sure you get it all incorporated in your flour, like so. So hopefully that's good. Okay, now they say, oh, oh, preheat your oven to 390 degrees. And now they want one cup of heavy cream and one cup of lemonade. Don't over mix. They want you to, I'm using this that I got from the Dollar Tree. It says classic lemonade. I don't know. We're going to try it. Hopefully this works. So they want one cup of lemonade. Oh, this has bubbles. Uh, I don't know if lemonade's supposed to have bubbles. But as is, I'm going with it. Okay. And then one cup of heavy cream. So it's a, it's a fairly easy recipe. If you have self-rising flour, it's just three and a half cups of flour, self-rising. One cup of heavy cream and one cup of lemonade. All right. Let's pour in our one cup. Oh, now see what I did? I used the wrong one. I should have used this because there is a difference. So right up to the top will be one cup. And if this comes out good, well, you know, and like I say, I know, Fun Food Fridays, I never made it before. And um, if I can do it, you can do it. So we're going to mix it. It says don't over mix. And I have a baking pan here with parchment paper on it. So this is going to be a sticky dough. Let me get the cap on this. And we're going to be kneading that again. They say to brush the tops with um, milk, but I'm going to use heavy cream. I'm brushing it with heavy cream. Okay, so it says don't over mix. So I'm going to say this is it. All right, my hands are clean. I washed them. Don't worry. You're not eating it. <laughs> okay, just saying. Okay, just saying. Let me put that there for a minute. Now, they want you to... Come back here. I'm going to put a little bit of flour on this cutting board. Like that. They want you to knead this dough like four or five times. Then put it in a round circle. And I remember that in home economics. They didn't want us playing with the dough a lot. So... Yeah, and it is sticky. It's a sticky dough, like it said it would be. So, hopefully that lemonade works. All right. All right, so, I'm going to push it down. Let me get this out of the way.
All right. Now let me like get it on the floured side. So they said knead it like four or five times. Because they don't want you to overwork the dough. All right. So I think that's good. Now I do have flour over here. Let me get it. Now they say to pat it out to like a one inch circle. And these bake up fast too, 15 minutes in a 390 oven. So let me turn it. So I must have did it right because it is sticking. All right, let me push it out. Let's say in one inch. Oh, that looks good to me. But like I said, I was 14, and then I had the teacher right there. I even remember her name. Isn't that weird? She was an older, older teacher. Her name was Miss Bagelski. So nice. She was, oh, she was so nice. All right. I'm not going to play with it much. I'm not going to play with it anymore. Let me get my towel here. And get some of this off my hands. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is get a little bit more flour. I'm just going to put it over here on the table. And get a glass, a regular glass, or a biscuit cutter, which I don't know where my biscuit cutter is. So I'm just going to use a glass. This is the way my dad used to make biscuits. And push it down in the dough, give it a turn. I don't know how many we're gonna get out of this, but we're gonna find out. And this is a Dollar Tree cup. <laughs> Can I get one out of here? Yeah. There we go. Now, let me put the, they say to put them on the uh, baking pan with the sides slightly touching one another. So, slightly touching. So there we go. Come on, get off there. So far we have three. Four. Five. Five. Okay, let me get some more of this. This flower. Because it's sticking to the board. This is fun too to have the kids help you out with. Yeah. Donna makes some um, Portuguese rolls on her channel. It looks so easy to make. I'm like, I never made those. I don't know where she gets it from guys. I don't know where. Okay, so there's another one. So far we have seven, 
eight. I'm going to try and make 12. My grandson's coming today. So we'll see if he likes lemonade scones. So. They look good. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to come out, but. And then just keep doing, the, put bringing the dough together. So we have nine. Yes. Ten. more than 12 if you make them the size of a bottom of a cup <laughs> yeah okay I don't know guy I don't mind doing this it's kind of therapeutic really it really is it's like an adult playing with play-doh let me smell it Oh, they smell dough. I thought maybe I would smell lemonade, but I don't. So he has another one. So we have three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. And I'm going to try and make one. Just like so. There. So we got 15. The way, you know, my size. So let me put that over there. Uh, that goes to the cream. Alright, so this is what we're looking like. Right here. That's what they're looking like. Now, they want you to brush them with milk. I, I got the heavy cream out here. I'm just going to brush them with heavy cream. Yeah. Okay, you know. Maybe I'll make it more richer. But the directions do say milk. I never do anything by the book. And my kids will be the first to tell you that one. They always say, you never make nothing normal. If I had my brush, I would brush them. But it's okay. We're making dough. Come on. There. Okay. They're all brushed. Now I'm going to put them in the oven, 390, for 15 minutes and see how they are. Um, like I say, all ovens are different. So we're going to have to see if they're done. And also, we'll be doing a little taste test. Let me clean up this mess and I'll be back when they're done. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I took them out of the oven. This is what they look like. Um, let me hold it up. The pan's still hot. They did get brown. They puffed up a little bit. And, well, some of them puffed up a lot of bit. <laughs> so, anyway, they look homemade. <laughs> let me put it like that. We're going to cut one open. And let me show. Oops. I better hang on to that parchment paper. They almost landed on the floor. Yeah. Let's see if I could do it. 
like this. So I want you to see up close. They smell like a biscuit. I forgot what scones are supposed to smell like. Um, I think the scones, we made Irish scones when we were in school. I don't know what the difference is. I would have to look that up. But when you slice this open, you can put like butter on it, jam, you know, whatever you want to put on it, I guess. Right? So, oh, I want to show you this. Isn't this pretty? This is porcelain. I want to show you this, this dish. My daughter gave me this years ago. I mean, years ago. And it's got a mark on the inside. And it says, Victorian Rose, original design by Solterra. It's a registered trademark. And it says, Hi, Mark, 1985, Japan. Right there. Isn't this beautiful? Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be putting the scones on. And it came with this, the little cake server. Yeah. So, let's see. Let's pull them apart. There's the bottom. I did, get them let, I did let them get a little too brown on the bottom, I guess. But the tops didn't look like they were getting brown enough for me. So I left it in for another five minutes. You know? Oh, they're hot. Use this here. Yeah. They come apart easy, you know, against one another. Like, they pull apart easy. But there's the bottom. Ouch! Hot. They do, I can see the cream on the top a little bit. If you see them in person, you know, you could see the um, cream on it. Okay. I'm hoping, and they're supposed to be like lemonade scones. We'll find out. They smell good. Yeah. Thirsty. I'm thirsty already, and I haven't even tried one of these dough balls yet. Okay. Ouch. Ouch. Hot. Hot, hot. All right. I got them all separated. Ah, that one went flying. No dropping things today. Ah, that one's hot. Okay, so I'm gonna try this one here because it's kind of not as round as those. Let me get rid of this. So I didn't grease the parchment paper or anything and it came right off, off the parchment. So. And here's what they're looking like. All right, let's cut it down this way to see if they're done in the middle. Ooh, it steam's coming out. That's what it looks like in the middle. It smells like a biscuit. I do not smell any lemonade, guys. Unless that lemonade wasn't strong enough. Let me try the bottom. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not tasting lemonade. I would add. Hmm. Lemon zest and lemon juice. Because to me, they taste like a biscuit with a little bit of sweetness. That's what it looks like. You need a cup of tea, coffee. Mmm. The top with the um half and half on it. That's good. Okay, so what you have to do 
I'm not. Not picking up lemonade at all. Maybe it's the lemonade that I used wasn't strong enough. Hmm. They taste good though. But I would put um, jelly on it or preserves, strawberry preserves or something. Hmm. Or even like an orange marmalade. Because I bet that would be even better. But they are cooked perfect. See, they're cooked perfect. They're not doughy or anything. And I left mine in for 20 minutes and did get that on the bottom. I wonder if it would taste more like lemonade, you know. Yeah. I just ate part of the top of it. You need jelly. That's it. Yeah. Tastes like a regular biscuit to me. With a little bit of sweetness. Oh. I might look up an old fashioned scone, Irish scone recipe. Mm. because I can't tell the difference. I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's it for Fun Food Friday for today. I will try the scones again. Um, if I did try the lemonade one, I would add lemon. I would. I would add some lemon zest and a little bit of lemon juice. I would really lemon it up, you know? You could get like a, a lemon curd. Ah, there you go. Get lemon curd and put on these. Yeah, but they're good. You know, I can't complain about them. I think my grandson will like them. Be good breakfast, you know, with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Put a little jam in the middle. Yeah, that's what I would do. Okay, guys. Don't forget to check out my daughter's channel. I'm going to put it in the description box below uh, so you can find her faster. Uh, she cooks a lot better than I do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where the heck she gets it from. But anyway, guys, stay safe out there. And if you enjoy Fun Food Friday, give it a thumbs up so I'll know that you enjoy Fun Food Fridays. Okay, guys, till next time, bye now. Let me know if you're going to try it. Yeah. <laughs>